Hi, welcome back. I'm Richard Schäfer from Laser Animation Solinger. In our previous video, I have quickly explained what our LA Toolbox is, what it is used for and where you can download the software. Today's video will show you in detail many functions, their advantages and most important, how easy it becomes to remotely set and monitor connected projectors. Let's first start the LA Toolbox by double-clicking on the desktop icon. Now we get the LA Toolbox start screen. Once you have started the LA Toolbox, all detected hardware modules in the network will be listed on the left side of the screen in three separate uh, tabs called listeners on top, talkers in the middle and non-AVB devices on the bottom. A hardware module can be a laser projector or an AVB interface for example. If you want to perform a firmware upgrade, select utilities on top there and then click on update manager. It will list your connected devices, the firmware and if there's an available firmware with the date then you can select if you want to upgrade or not. So it's up to the user to decide whether you want to use a new firmware or stick to an older one. You can of course also add your own custom firmware if you get one from uh, Laser Animation Solinger. The same applies if you want to update uh, the IP uh, address. Simply go to Utility and then click on IP Configuration. There you have again all detected hardware. For example here we do have a Phantom Accurate uh, as well as one ILDA to AVB and two AVB to ILDA interfaces. There we have the IP addresses. You can click on that and using the bottom tab you can whether choose or not to change the IP address. Uh, the last point with the utility tab is our file manager which will allow you to upload and change the content from the SD card. So in every of our Fanon uh, Accurate, Fanon X, but also RTI Pico and RTI Nano of the latest generation, we do have an SD card. On that SD card you can save your own show, show files uh, as you can see here, we do have some IEF data which are currently stored on a AVB to ILDA interface. On the Accurate we have something else. There we do have some test pictures as well as some beams which can be used. So how can we connect to a device? You can now drag and drop the hardware or projector onto the main screen by either selecting from the listeners or from the talker. A talker will, for example, be an ILDA to AVB device or it could be a PC Mac running our LA Player software. We will also present this in a separate video. So for usage of the LA Player, we're going to use an RME DigiPhase AVB which uh, provides up to 8 AVB streams, which are shown from here from 1 to 8. We're going to also select a fan on accurate as listener or as laser projector as well as two AVB to ILDA interfaces which could output an ILDA signal to another external laser projector. By clicking on the talker with your mouse you can draw a connection line cable to your desired listeners or laser projector. I'm going to show it here with an a ILDA to AVB. Simply drag and drop to the accurate. Then you see a green dotted line which shows that the laser connection is established and active. You can of course create several connections at the same time. So you can connect an ILDA to AVB at the same time to a Fenrir accurate and to the two AVB to ILDA interfaces we have on the main screen. Once established 
the laser projector will react output what the talker interface is streaming. In our case, the ILDA to AVB will stream the same AVB signal to both the AVB to ILDA interfaces and the Fanon Accurate. By clicking on a hardware module, the LA toolbox will establish another connection to the selected device. It can be either a laser projector or one of those AVB interfaces. Once that connection is activated, that happens in the background, you will have a separate box appearing on the screen. And this is the main configuration window, which provides all data and configuration settings. In our case, it will be a Fenron accurate projector, as you can see here on my screen. Below the menu bar, the device window contains different tabs for the various hardware modules of the projector. For each module, you can monitor the status and condition via network. Of course, tabs, displays and settings option may vary for the different types of devices. The main tab contains all states and possible adjustments for the mainboard which can communicate with the laser sources there and modules inside the projector. So with just one quick look, you have the device status there, you have the safety status here, device settings over there, as well as climate information shown in the middle. Finally, you also do have device information, such as the device name and its serial number. Device settings over there will control and show the device status. Here you can see the current operation mode of the connected device being in standby. Each laser projector can be set either to shutdown, standby or run mode. Shutdown means that all drivers are turned off. The laser control is also inactive, so basically a power saving mode. In standby mode, as we have here, laser drivers are still deactivated but laser sources are kept at their operating temperature, allowing a quick switch to run, which is basically the operating mode where all laser sources are active. Further control options, such as an automatic standby or automatic shutdown, can also be programmed here, which can be very helpful for fixed installations having a predefined time schedule. Some options, such as timer settings or DMX, might not be shown for every device, as the LA toolbox adapts itself to the connected device. In our example, the Fano Accurate has no internal timer, nor a DMX controllable grating wheel. It is unlike our Fanon X Mini or Fanon X Pro units, which both have a timer function, as well as the possibility of internal DMX controllable grating effect wheels. The next tab we're gonna check is the tab called Projection. This one allows for configuration of control source where input could be either ILDA, AVB, an internal DSP or any other internal DAC, but provides also XY size and keystone, depending on model. On top of that, we do have the surely most powerful tool called Digital Geometric Correction, also known as DGC. With DGC, it is possible to correct and adjust in real time the laser output on a projection surface consisting of several different surfaces. Advantages of DGC is that no specific laser show controller is needed and that a pre-recorded show can be played at different locations on different projection surfaces by simply adjusting the DGC zones to the new location. The entire recalculating is done by the powerful Fanon mainboard itself, requiring no external show controller. There's plenty more to tell about DGC, so this will be discussed in depth in a dedicated video. Our LA toolbox also provides access to safety functions, which can be found on the safety tab, such as our electronic mask, which again is fully calculated by the internal processor, so not relying on any external controllers or software solutions. The electronic mask is an important function which can limit the laser output for certain projection areas. Simply create or edit a mask and select the projection zone where laser emission should be either limited in power or even fully prevented. You can simply, for example, take a shape, draw it, 
and say in that black box, as you can see here on the screen, I do have 0% laser emission. You can simply change the value and say in this part, I'm going to have, for example, 47% laser output. Once active, the electronic mask will analyze the incoming control signal, whether it comes from ILDA, AVB, or an internal DAC, and apply that masking to the control signal before sending those control signals to scanners and laser drivers. As for our DGC, our electronic mask will also get its dedicated tutorial video. Another safety feature is called Safety Window, which is an integrated scanner safety circuit for protection of audience. You can select the projection zone where the safety will check the deflection speed and in case of either faulty programming or scanner malfunction, the unsafe condition will trigger emission shutdown. And finally, a great asset for safety is our LAN laser disable button, a network-based laser e-stop which can be configured in our LA toolbox. Up to four different laser disable buttons can be assigned per device, offering various setup options such as having, for example, one main laser disable button acting on all connected devices, plus a separate laser disable button acting, let's say, only on devices on stage, being close to stage performers. In addition to our laser disable button, we also do have a software running both on the Windows and Mac OS X called Laser Disable, offering the same type of control. If you want to use the software, sim simply enter the PC IP address in the IP address field here and activate the e-stop functionality. A dedicated tutorial video will soon be available explaining in details how to install, configure and set up our laser disable button as well as laser disable software. Not to forget to mention, the LA Toolbox itself has also an integrated e-stop on the right part of your screen. When you click on that, it will shut down laser emission on all connected laser projectors as well as AVB streaming interfaces. In our case, we do have two AVB to ILDA interfaces currently in run mode with laser uh, hazard or laser uh, emission logo being displayed. As soon as I will press on the red e-stop, it will automatically shut down laser emission and place both interfaces in standby mode. As you can see here, we click and it immediately swaps to standby. Next to it, it shows user. That means that the current status, so the standby mode, is the result of a user action. Let's move to the next tab called AVB. This lists all AVB-related information, such as the entity list with available talkers and listeners, as well as projector connections and their status. AVB from audio-video bridging, being a very powerful control option, supported by various control softwares on the market, it will need its own video for an in-depth presentation and explanation. Next to AVB, we have our network tab. Device name, here listed as network name as well as the IP address, can be updated via this tab. The same applies to our OSC control options, where you can select which control command will be listened to or not. As already mentioned previously, the tab format and layout can vary from one device line to another one. The LA Toolbox is also the tool to use if you want to proceed to a motorized beam adjustment. This feature is available on all our Phenon X projectors as they are equipped by default with a motorized beam adjustment for color alignment. With the beam adjust menu, you can access and control these die filter mounts remotely and redo a color alignment quickly. You can access it here via extra, you have beam adjust. I said here on the fan and accurate, there are no internal beam uh, adjustment options, so it's why it's gray lighted. Finally, our LA toolbox has three or more color tabs, as you can see here, depending on laser source being used. Therefore, all RGB devices will only have red, green, and blue as color tabs, 
while for example a Fanon X30000 will have an additional yellow tap as using a yellow coherent type. To summarize, our LA Toolbox is the perfect toolbox for configuration and monitoring of our products. Now that you know how to use the LA Toolbox, we'll present you our laser projectors as well as software products in our upcoming videos. I would be happy if you join us again then. Talk to you soon.